Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my half a weenathon wrap up. I really love doing this readathon and I am bummed that it is over, uh, but I think I did a really good job with it, so I'm quite proud of myself. So I'm just going to quickly go through the challenges and the books that I read. The first one was to read a book that has an adaptation and watch the movie. Uh, for that, I read The Woman in Black. I don't have my copy anymore. I returned it to the library, uh, but that is by Susan Hill. It was a reread for me. It was the book of the month for Harrowing Horror from Cammie's Corners channel, and I loved it. It's your typical, like, gothic-y haunted house story. I loved the book the second time around just as much as I liked it the first time. The movie was pretty interesting because although it was similar, uh, it definitely was different as well. The ending was very different from the book. So um, I kind of liked getting that different story because I liked the storyline in the movie as well as the book. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving that book five stars. Next is read a book by Master of Horror, and I read The Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King. And I can't find the book now. I took it outside with me to take uh, the pictures for one of the other challenges, and it's not outside, and I can't find it in the house, and I don't know where I put it. So, uh, luckily, I did finish it. I really liked it. The movie Silver Bullet is based off of a section of the book. I wasn't really sure what to expect from the book uh, and again it was similar <laughs> it was very similar to the movie but you got all of these other people's uh, storylines really or perspectives of kind of what was going on outside of the particular part that they used to make the movie Silver Bullet I am not making any sense anyway I really enjoyed the book I thought it was fantastic it was very short. I think I read it all in one sitting. And uh, if you're a Stephen King fan or a werewolf fan, I would recommend that. Next was to read a book by an indie author. And for that, I did two because I wasn't sure if either of them really worked. The first one I read was this, The Valancourt Book of Horror Stories. Uh, this is from Valancourt Press, which is a small press. And I was kind of confused with what an indie author is, what that means. Uh, and I was assuming that maybe some of the authors in this book, because this is all short stories, that maybe some of them were indie authors. But as I was reading this book, um, the beginning of each story, the editors would give you a pretty large summary about each particular author. And the way they were talking about each author made me think that maybe they weren't indie authors. A lot of these stories are pretty old, and I think the only author I had heard of is Michael McDowell, and I know he's a pretty popular author. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't really sure about this one. That being said, I loved this. I'm so glad that I read this book for this readathon. It was so perfect. There was some stories in here that might be my all-time favorite short stories ever, especially one called The Elemental by R. Chetwin Hayes. Uh, that story was fantastic, but yeah, I liked every story that was in here, and it makes me want to go out and buy a lot more books from Valacourt. I know they have a different volume. I think this is volume two, and they have volume one, but I'm definitely going to be picking up more from them. The next one I picked up was this. It's called The Pumpkin House by Chad P. Brown. I think I bought this this past September or October to read for Halloween, and I never got to it. Um, this is a tiny book. It's like a hundred pages and I can't really find any information on this guy. He has a Twitter and a Facebook but he hasn't posted for four years and it says on here that it was published by Three Crows Books but then when I look them up I can't find anything on them either. It's like the author and the publisher don't exist anymore. Maybe they were one and the same. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I read this book hoping this is an indie author, and this book was okay. Uh, it wasn't the best Halloween story I've ever read. It wasn't the worst. It was just kind of in the middle for me. It actually reminded me a lot of the Pumpkinhead movie. It has an old curse. It has children in it. Um, it has a man who's trying to keep the town he lives in safe by carving a pumpkin for every person. It was a fun read. Again, this is something I read in one sitting because it was very short. 
So yeah, that's my thoughts on this book. Next was read a story that is not a novel and I used this because this was a short story collection. Read a book that takes place in autumn. That would be this because this took place the last two weeks of October. Read a book that was published within the last five years. Again, that's this one. This was published in 2017. And the last challenge was to dress up in a half ass costume and post it on social media, which I did. I will post a couple of the pictures that I did here. I posted these on Instagram and Twitter. I'm not filming with that costume because I really can't breathe in the wolf mask. <laughs> Taking those pictures was a real struggle for me. I get very claustrophobic with things on my face like that and so that was not a fun experience but I really liked how the pictures turned out. If you did this readathon, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.